Major break in the case of a missing Navajo Nation woman that has gained national attention tonight. A man charged with assaulting and carjacking Ella Mae Begay in Arizona was not only arrested this week, but will remain behind bars until trial. His arraignment hearing revealed details about what may have happened to Begay, though she is still missing. Mm -hmm. True Crime Arizona's Brianna Whitney is following this case tonight. And Brianna, this arrest has a bigger meaning than just this case. A much bigger meaning. It's huge because for so long, Native families have fought for years to get the same attention other missing women cases get from law enforcement and also media. Today was bittersweet for Ella Mae Begay's family. I guarantee the suspect will stay detained, but the realization of a heartbreaking reality. My hopes is someday Ella Mae's name will be the same as Gabby Petito. As the national spotlight focused on the 2021 disappearance of Gabby Petito, another woman's disappearance was unfolding at the same time, but in the shadows. Ella Mae Begay on the Navajo Nation in Arizona. And I think by always saying her name and keeping her in the spotlight, that kind of puts pressure on law enforcement to do something. Darlene Gomez is an attorney who's been working pro bono for the Begay family to try and keep the 62-year-old's case at the forefront. And now it's paid off. This week, the U.S. Attorney's Office announced 23-year-old Preston Tolth was indicted in March for assaulting Ella Mae Begay and carjacking her truck in June of 2021 at her own home with the intent to cause death or serious bodily harm to her. Begay's son reacting to that news just days ago. To lose someone to, to this act of violence it is just, you know, it's worse. It, it's the, the, the worst thing you could ever imagine. But today they learned much more. Gomez listened in on his arraignment hearing in Flagstaff today and says they learned disturbing details about what Tolth reportedly did. After today's hearing, we learned that he battered her, left her for dead, and that's no way for someone to live their last hours of their life. The family realized that more than likely Alame is not, no longer on this world. And that's very hard to come to terms with because you always have hope. Though they believe Ella May is no longer alive, her body has never been found. She's one person on a new poster just released by Navajo Nation PD Friday, showing the 82 current missing person cases they have on their reservation alone. As for Tolth, he was previously identified as a person of interest in the case and has a lengthy violent criminal history. Gomez says he knew Ella May Begay by family connections. Now, Gomez is thankful for the care and attention the U.S. Attorney's Office has shown the Begay family. The family didn't feel like they were alone. They felt like the U.S. Attorney's Office, the family, and myself, that we were all working together. The search will continue for Ella Mae Begay's remains. Tolth will stay detained until the trial. If convicted of these charges, he does face up to 25 years in prison and a $250,000 fine. Hmm. You guys, this case, one of many in the yeah. MMIW crisis, mm -hmm. missing and murdered indigenous women. Mm -hmm. They're finally getting the attention that they've been fighting for for years, but there is so much more on this crisis. Mm -hmm. There will be more to come on it from me, mm -hmm. and we will be uh, looking into it, yeah. should we say. You've been so investigating. Yeah. yeah, it really is. Brianna, thank you.